What's up guys? This is the Rofeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we are capturing the Indian capital of Lahore because they've made a blunder, a huge blunder, and most of their troops that are able to defend it are too far away to help. Let us capture their last city. They will not withstand us. And then after this we will be um, pushing rapidly up through Persia and then we will likely hit the the uh, Ottoman Empire and then we will soon kick off the last great war in Europe <laughs> this will be a this is I mean the Indian campaign has gone a lot better than I imagined there was a, there was the start of the assault went really well they started to get bogged down and it potentially felt like they were ramping up their production but I think we were able just to capture enough major cities fast enough to prevent them from ever really gaining the mass that Indian factions normally do. We're going to advance in one long musket line. They have almost entirely equipped themselves with melee troops. we will bring them to battle. Oh, even better, they're coming towards us. That is bad news for the other faction. Oh, so many artillery pieces so much so much potential okay, well, how much is to engage the armed populace on the flank let's just get one of my units to go after the Hindu musketeers these guys you'd think would abandon their guns because they can't shoot at anyone This is no way for a major faction to cease to exist, but I'll take it. Have we got any cavalry at all? No, it is all just infantry. Basic silly infantry. Speed of time just a little bit. Kind of, kind of hit here. Gonna be beautiful. Where is the general? Oh, the general's one of the guns. No one. They're not gonna go anywhere. Okay, come on. I'll meet you part way. Give your melee troops some hope that they will make it to our lines all the while my cavalry force has their has the enemy artillery in their sights you know you're marching to your downfall so much infantry surging across the field Advance! Oh, they got annihilated. They ran absolutely perfectly for my artillery just to cut them to pieces. The musket barrels are flashing. 160th, yeah, broken. This arm populace is not yet within musket range, but they soon will be. I don't even care if they get into melee range. Popping off carcass shot. 
No, you men keep going after the mortars. Kill their general. You men fought the way that an Indian faction is supposed to fight. Swarms, no care or concern about the welfare of your troops. Not unless my company infantry have anything to say about it. Which they do. It's just a slaughter. Go on, see boys. Reload! They can fire into the backs of the armed populace. Yeah, you better run. Concentrate all your firepower on this handful of Indian troops. I don't even care if we get some friendly fire. It's artillery coming in. How it's a shells coming in. Quick fire! That is the end of the Maratha Confederacy. Now it is time to turn our attention on to Persia. So all those troops are gone. Get these buildings repaired. Let's get the university destroyed. We can replace it with a church school to teach them the ways of Catholicism. Let's teach them to be enlightened. Don't even need to make all these things industrial buildings either, which is nice. So you men have orders to push on to Kabul. You're, you've already got orders to push up to Srinagar. You are getting, or bringing Lahore into the fold. And Barabad is happy with the way things are. Building our church school, so you men push up to Afghanistan as well. Same with you. Give you an order to push on to Zahedin from the north. You have orders to push on Zahedin from the south. Sorry, Marathas. It's just not meant to be. You guys are now starting to panic because you've got to figure out where you're going to go. Oh yeah, we are, we're already at war with the Ottomans. I forgot about that. Okay. I mean, largely, we've got everyone we need. Or everyone we want, at least. If we need to recruit someone else, we can. Or recruit another army, we can. You're waiting on one more unit. Which... Has it been recruited anywhere? Is it you? Yes. Good. It's Grey Taranto and Syracuse. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I think the only thing to do is to hit and turn. Ultimately, probably pull this force out of Moscow. Hmm, where to put you? Maybe here, in the event that Sweden decides to break out east rather than fight us. I mean, we're allied with Sweden and we're allied with Austria, so it's curious to see where the battle will be, where battle will kick off. I'd like to take the Middle East and knock out, um, knock out the Ottomans as well, because we will have to jump on to Savoy as well at some point, which, which I actually don't want to do, because Savoy have been a trusted ally for a very long time. We're not going to fortify, because I want to fight them on the open field. Or do I? Let's build a fort. Fortify the mountains. 
upgrade into an artillery fort. Could take Venice, but I'm not worried about that right now. Largely, everything's okay. Let's... Well, we can't do anything. Let's hit end turn. We've still got a lot of building to do in India to bring it into... Bring it forward to the standard of a Western country, a Western European country. Should really have checked to make sure we didn't have any... There weren't any opportunities for us in the trade zones. Although we should do that in general. We've probably got some naval engagements we can fight. Hey, the garrison at Yerevan is, is sallying with lots of... I mean, it's, it's a whole load of melee troops. So, let's get ready to hold them off. We do have a Swedish preacher down there turning over on Protestant, which is super not cool. Probably going to end up assassinating them. We have no cause to hold back from committing assassination missions, because even though it does cause negative standing diplomatically, although that might decide who, which of our allies stick with us and who abandons us. Okay, I'm going to deploy back. I want them to, I suppose, really, I want to be somewhere. Hmm. This hill's not a bad position, but it's not, we can't really shoot forward. Because they won't go into this gully. Although well, they're going to be down here. So let's probably. Yeah, I suppose that's a good. That is a good position to put to put a flank up against. Not deploy our guns just yet, but let's deploy. To be honest, just deploy my troops up here, and then figure out where to put them afterwards. Let my mortars, let my howitzers just open up. Okay, now they are right at the back. So let's... Okay, let's kind of do a... Two sector defense. Deploy my guns up here against the... On the, this terrain. Howitzers that are able to shoot can shoot. Is it their guns they're shooting at? It must be. Yes, it is. That's not bad. I think something like that's probably going to be desirable. Well, it's the Ottoman Empire, but it's the Ottoman Republic. We killed it, blew some of my men's heads off, but that's okay. Counter battery is going well. The mortar garrison units are upset. You meant unlimber and shoot. If you guys are able to engage, and so will this unit. When our foot artillery is set up, that will provoke them. I mean, they're in a similar position to we are. This is kind of a bit of a ridge line. Let's focus on their artillery for now. Pushing forward some of their cavalry. Hmm. I do 
do like Pike here. He's gonna pick up his Pike magic key. Yeah, there it is. Got a good killing ground here on the left flank. Here comes the enemy cavalry. Just in the range of the 156th. Let's begin to shift my howitzers onto their proper job. Ooh, quick line attacks. Let my artillery do counter battery. Good hits, good hits. I was getting to focus on the mortar battery specifically. You want to be within range of this regiment of flying infantry. Be reloaded since the last time we met Count. Alina upset. Where are the risks of souls and so on? A big oh, one whole block of melee troops going around one flank. Bashi Bazooks, I remember them. Good times. Give them another volley. the Bashi Bazooks. These Muslim... Oh no! The ba these Bashi Bazooks were hidden. I see. Sneaky. Slightly withdraw and pivot this line infantry unit so that that garrison unit when it advances will be within range of two units especially as these are kind of weaker these fellow are going to be hit by the regiment of line on the flank the artillery is still committed against the the enemy guns. This block is still advancing. Unmolested. The risks of souls, they're dangerous. They're real dangerous. Let's pull back this flank against the garrison Islamic swordsmen. Good hits, good hits. The Nizam infantry are getting into position, which are a bit scary. There goes the Faleen musketeers, but now the Nizam are up and ready. Sending in more pikes and risks of souls. these three units forward and that's a beautiful quick line target there just bleh. going after our gunners there we 
go. This regiment of lines soon going to be in a good position to engage. Oh, here we go. I was about to redeploy this whole wing. I think I am going to redeploy this whole wing up and forward. Good, we've scared away the 11 swords, but on the flank. You men don't have long. Oh, we're blasting the risk of souls on point blank range. See, their morale is really good when they're in combat. When they're not in combat, apparently it kind of falls over a little bit. It's getting them there. They're low defense, so they're vulnerable. One more volley. Phew. Pikemen, but now they are getting hit by musket fire. See, the mortars are still firing. They've got eight troops, three guns. They withstand artillery fire rather well. pivot these guys back because it looks like they're going to try and whip around this rock. So there's some infantry. They've done, they did well. They did really well. And they look the bar, frankly. Some of my favourite infantry in the game. There you go. Danger close, quick climb against the risks of souls. Saw them off. Garrison's having swordsman unit must have routed. Finally got the mortars. After a lot of concentrated artillery fire. He men reload rapidly. They're all engaging the pikes. It. Unless you can spook them off. You did. Now everyone else is going to annihilate them. But it looks like the only thing left on the field is the enemy gun team. All my artillery aim for them. Especially now they've limbered up one round will annihilate the whole team. Everyone else is is fleeing. Miss. Miss. How are the shots coming in? Bingo. I believe that's it. <laughs> the garrison... The garrison made an effort. They did. They made an effort. Fair play to them. But it was not to be. And ultimately, because we don't need to catch the city, we will continue to hold. Yeah, Persians. They're starting to panic. They can't completely abandon Ardabil. Ooh. Garrison at Srinagar's pushed forward to try and take us out. Uh, I mean, yeah, that'll be, that will be fine. <laughs> I was waiting for my... I do need some howitzers to bolster this army, but that should be okay. 
we will just set up and annihilate them with our superior firepower. Lots of their units are depleted anyway, so that'll make them even more susceptible. We got a couple of mercenary units at full strength, but that won't be enough. Then once we take Srinagar, then we can have the blessed Gurkhas, which I so I desperately want all the time. I think Gurkhas have to be my favourite unit. Because not only are they badasses way back when, they're badasses now. Let's get okay. <laughs> Let's get back into it. So form our defensive line. Good, you men are the ones that aren't committed. So then our guns on the flank have some support. We have one artillery piece that's not yet deployed. They can go right at the back and go do counter artillery work. Cavalry, a lot of cavalry, which can raid around the flanks. General in the center, watching stoically. And these units can blast shrapnel shot. Heavy covering and do some heavy lifting here. We need to knock out their lances and then go after their desert camel mercenaries. Okay, mass charge this auto. Okay, Curiosity Air, focus on the camels. My company cav, focus on the lancers. Because now we've taken the edge off of their attack. And there we go. So that's one camel mercenary unit routed. Infantry mercenaries push up aggressively. both my... Okay, let's pull my company cavalry out. Let my cuirassier knock out the camels. All of you are just jumping onto that mercenary unit. Okay, uh, cavalry's a bit weak on this flank. No, pull out, pull out, pull out. You're going to have to go for the native lancers. That's not ideal. You need to win this cavalry duel on the right, on the left flank, pretty quick. Artillery. Canister shot. Camels have returned. My cam company cav wavering at camels. Ooh. Okay, company cav on the, le the other flank is broken. Curiosity air push forward into the camel mercenaries. Light cavalry withdraw. My cavalry try withdraw if they will let you. Push my infantry up. Actually, light cavalry. Don't withdraw. Recommit. Make sure the infantry that are routing route. Even though they're only levy units. Yeah, see, that mercenary units come back. So let's try hit the mercenaries.
bring my cuirassier back. Now we've got units in a engaging a square formation. My cavalry can help try and defend the square. Okay, one of you definitely go after the Gurkha. Okay, you guys both go after the Gurkhas. It looks like that levy unit just doesn't want to come back anyway. Eman advance, switch to round shot, bombard in the center. Will one of you go after this Indian mercenary unit. Infantry form square again, native lances are winning, not ideal. Eman are picking off the desert camel mercenaries. This gun team engage the hillmen. Mercenaries are shattered. So we're not trying to beat them, we're just trying to stop them from... It's not that I want to kill them, it's just I don't want them to be alive anymore. Push, 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 push. These guys are requiring many more Gurkhas to be killed than I would have hoped for. Crossier, fall back. Come on, you men. Just. I mean, they're going to route anyway, but. Just really make sure they don't. What I don't want is it don't want is them to almost route, then come back. Shrapnel shot the square. Shattered, push forward. Come the camels again. My cuirassiers will deploy as the gentlemen they are. They will help protect the square. All my artillery switched to round shot. Bombard the hillmen. Although, to be honest, they are going to get pushed. Last year, the hillmen look rather upset. Actually, no, curiously, I don't charge them, because otherwise, you're just going to get killed with friendly fire, but they are very brave, however. They're about to get whipped by a whole load of musket shot. Artillery fire or oh, ceasefire. And we are going to continue. So one of you go after the hillmen, one of you's going after the mercenaries, you're going after those mercenaries, kill as many as you can. Because we haven't we aren't fighting the fighting in the city yet, so this is this garrison is still very much active. Because killing the mercenaries is the most important one of the lot. Hillmen are also good because they're sneaky, sneaky skirmishes. Come on. 
take him out. The last handful. Decisive victory. Those are words we like to see. Nice. So we've got a lot of replenishment to do. We push them back to the city. Right. Let's see. Let's have a bit of coffee. Agent executed. Hopefully that's one of theirs. So first of all, we're going to auto-resolve the Battle of the Yerevan because we effectively fought it. Get, the, get it. get the city built up. Let's get replenishing. Let's go for a church school. And farms. To be honest, they've just not done a very good job at upgrading there. There are cities. It leaves them vulnerable for people like us. New town emerges in the Black Hills. Craft workshop. New town emerges in Cherokee territory. So traits gained. Ultimate. Let's do all the ones in Bengal. Which I believe is everything. It's even the, the Inuit have got a steam powered iron, getting a steam powered ironworks. So that's what we just did. The road is still being built. India is going to be an absolute powerhouse when we're finished with it. Right, so. Yeah, Lahore's already quite happy with this. So let's send one of you guys up towards Srinagar instead, because you guys. Have you recruited your howitzers, or are they en route, or are you... Okay, you're pushing up. I think I may have to recruit them. Let's make sure all the... All the roads are either... Built or building. Yeah, I think the Americas is pretty good. <coughs> Um, don't want anyone missing out on that sweet, sweet town wealth growth. No, it looks like it's largely okay. So, you're not full of strength. Push up. you want some kind of cool infantry unit which will probably be oh no it's, it's coming from here isn't it cavalry yes it is okay, you're pushing up you're just reinforcing because you've got a huge bulk of troops on the way i don't know if i necessarily like the idea of driving men up, landing men along the coast. I like the idea of squeezing them through their territory now. There's them, there's the howitzers. So you're going to go up to Maximino. You push up to Kabul. You push up to the north. Yeah, just keep giving them orders to push now. Although you are waiting on someone to catch up with you, which might take a bit of time. Although you do have guns, so it will take longer for them to catch up. It will take longer for... Uh... Well, my guys, my army won't be able to outpace the infantry trying to catch them up. 
Xavier, Xavier. Oh, this, I mean, that's just. Okay, go on. Let's fight for Shrinigar. Then we will recruit a general who will lead a Gurkha force north to reinforce, well, west, sorry, to uh, reinforce our armies at the front. Add a bit of extra, a bit of extra uh, support. Especially from my Indian armies where they're a bit bland. All of my guns just <laughs> just sit back. It might seem a bit lazy, but ultimately, when they're very weak, you can just take the battering ram approach. I mean, they have the reinforcements coming up, but I'm not that bothered about them, really. The enemy reinforcements coming in directly behind them. They've just, someone's just got obliterated by quick climb. Hold on, let me close my curtains a minute. It's lovely as it is outside at the minute. I can't actually see anything. Good old fashioned melee fight. See men whip around. The skirmishers and cavalry position to interdict their reinforcements. There we go, lots of their other the rest of their lines are a bit exposed. The armed populace is routed. Ooh. Okay, how it says by a round shot. Bring my SARS in. So SARS back rather. Even gonna charge my line infantry guards. Jump on them. Obliterated. Okay, their cavalry's engaging me, so they're quite happy. My left line anchor up against this ridge line. Annihilate that musket men. So there goes the general's bodyguard unit, but there we go, now we've got the general. Mop up the rest of his lances. Shuffle everyone along a bit to get my line of the guards back into the mix. Just give my guns different targets, I suppose. General's bodyguard advance some of my cavalry towards them, but these guys are just going to get encircled and obliterated. So much death! Don't worry, fellows. Your, your, and your, um, your ancestors, your descendants will be ready to serve in our armies. alive is this musket, mercenary musket unit. There you go. 
everyone just keep on pushing up, anticipating them collapsing into nothingness. Just send my hussars and my general down here to skirmish there, routing troops. I never normally use formations. Now it's the double diamond. Household cavalry and lancer guards. Oh, they're going to merge together to make a super diamond. Unconvinced about the the utility of diamond formation compared to just smashing into their entire formation wide, hitting every single guy. Rather than, I suppose in this way you create a ball of cavalry, which is more difficult to deal with in the subsequent melee. Maybe. Other than that, I would think I'd rather just smash straight into them. But then again, I can be somewhat of a blunt instrument at times. But still, Srinagar is taken. We can send... You, you're not able to reach them, but you can push up to try and not let them have this easy time of it. Okay, so you men build... Upgrade the state capital... Probably don't want a happiness building here exactly. But we do want better roads. This army's doing grand work. We've done all the done all the building work. I mean you're okay. You're gonna mostly rely on Indian mercenaries. Plus two guerrilla mercenaries just to keep them a bit unique, make them a bit unique. Yeah, you're gonna have orders just to keep pushing on right through their territory because we are gonna get there. Keep you guys exempt from tax for now. Once you've got your church school, you'll start to become good Christian people and will chip away the religious unrest, which will be really handy. So traits gained, agent executed. We've done both of these. A lot of good recruitment. We've taken Armenia and Kashmir. Our research will soon be maxed out. Once this guy's researched rifled cannons, they're going to go on sheet lead cartridges. That will be it. And then we'll start getting rid of universities. Oh, you fool. No, you're not. Seems not. So sometimes this happens. It's a bit weird. You have, you can, it's during the end turn phase, but you can still kind of intervene. It's a bit odd, but... It's okay. Just intervene. Sometimes it kind of falls over. They want Ingria and Karelia. They want to give me Estonia, Finland and Norway. They want me to give them Petrovskaya and St. Petersburg. No. Try it, Sweden. Try it. If you want, if you think you can take us out, go for it. But if you don't, you better come fully equipped. So it looks like mostly in the east we've got raiders to worry about, but not really Persian armies exactly. Us. 
Okay, so you men may go to Tripoli. New port emerges. Wow, oh, the natives are getting another port. Get them a sloop. Plus one to zeal when seeking converts in India. Good. Natural causes. One of my admirals has healed over. We dominate the Ivory Coast. We dominate the Straits of Madagascar. We dominate the East Indies. And we dominate... Oh, hello. There's bad fellows afoot. So first of all, you guys need to go here. Just obliterate that Persian Navy. So that means... Big fleet, get down to South America. Trade fleet, get down to South America. Oh, whoops. Accidentally stole who they were going to reinforce. Okay, so you can take four of those fifth rates, cease recruiting all of them, and get some fourth rates. Hmm. Ultimately, we're a bit of a loose end with some of our ships. So much leave it alone for a while. Yeah, Texas gets a steam powered cloth mill. So let's do all these ones in Sindh. Hindustan. Good. The Army Staff College, I don't think it adds much beyond guards, but we might be running out of them anyway. And we've done all the stuff in Sindh. Okay, dun 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 dun. So we've done all the ones in Orissa. Gujarat's got a full tea plantation, but it can get a global trading company. Berra can get better roads. Apadraj Bhutana. All in on the upgrades, they've all been done. Hyderabad. Just the Weaver's Cottage. Good. That's everything done. So you guys. Just mop up these raiders. The howitzers are still on route. Claudio. Excellent, they've got an actual army here at Kabul, that's fun. So you can keep pushed past Kabul. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm still pushing forward. You just have an order to push towards Esfahan along the coast road. Same with you. You're on your way. Okay, let's put the church school and then at Srinagar. How many can I get? Eight. Eight Gurkhas. I'll take it. 
Well, let's take this force here and attack the garrison at Kabul. Bring another city into the Portuguese bowl. Although it's 100% definitely the end of the episode, but it's too late because I've started. Oh well, just keep on. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Should be a fairly simple job to wipe them out. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the city is going to burn. Guardsmen plus colonial troops go in the centre. Send the bulk of our forces to the right. Screen with our cavalry. push up. It might be a bit squiffy. Yeah, you men need to run. So my howitzers Probably going to switch to quick line. Just start knocking holes in some of their infantry formations. Sepoys just advance up into point blank range. You met. Okay, right. Let's let's set up our defensive position around the town hall. Work out what I want you to do. There we go. Can you men smash the bowmen? You men engage that bowman to fix them. You men push up. Shoot them. You didn't push up the way you should have done. Okay, we've not back the enemy artillery. So we form square with the guards. My infantry are going to secure the town hall. You men get into there, you men get into here. General, make sure that the bowmen have shattered anyway. Good. We've pulled back the infantry mercenaries. Let's begin to retarget some of my quick climbing artillery. why they're not doing oh it's because they've one of the dervishes have ran up into the okay they've ran up into the uh, building so that's why they're now going oh we want to go inside make sure I don't select all the troops again like I've done before Curacier all, well, all of my cavalry except for them push up around the flank. Okay, 
recipe. How it says go for the Gurkhas specifically. Even form square. This is a bit screwed up. Okay, push my guards up because they're a bit isolated. New man form square. So we killed one, got rid of one. Oh, that's the native Lancer unit. That's the reason why they're upset. All my artillery engaged these camel mercenaries. Okay, this is not ideal with my guards in the center. Let's utilize my cavalry a bit more efficiently. We managed to see off a native Lancer unit. Okay, guardsmen, form up. You knew many who pouring musketry out the windows because the Gurkhas are coming. Oh, the Gurkhas are gone. There go the camels. That's nice of them. Okay, let's keep pushing up. Curacier lead the way. You men have run along the defences, which was this way. Engage them. Unsurprising that my those two units sepoys broke because there's not many of them at all. Ultimately, as a city battle, this is very, very messy. So you men form up. We took the town hall well enough, but uh just been a bit it's been real messy there we go. commit my guardsmen oh it's starting to chug because it's, it's trying to work out what to do get in, here, get in here my guardsmen will clear them out All my artillery, target the lancers. Concentrate all your forward firepower. There's you need a bowman coming in, but they're being picked off from fire in the windows. There you, there you go, the camel mercenaries. Everyone go after the lancers. Artillery, cease fire. Look at this brave fellow, the one guy from his unit. He's very tired. Send you in after the dervishes as well. The guardsmen should do it. But actually, there's only 74 of them. Oh, there's a duel outside. Oh no, they're routing. And now they're getting. A lot are dying very quickly trying to route through my guys. Well, that was a real messy battle, but it didn't take as long as I thought it would. That's not bad at all. Excellent. <laughs> City is taken. Let's repair the Raja's palace. Oh no, you guys have a slot. Perfect for a Gurkha unit. Oh wow, that's, that's so convenient. And we can push up a company infantry unit from back here. 
can you go stop garrisoning the city? You can. So you can push up to a position where you can just be recognised as a reinforcing army. Good, good, good. Um, okay. So I don't normally like... Okay, what I want to do is I want to hit end turn. Even though it's going to take, make the turn last a little bit longer. Because what I actually want is to get some building work done. But then start a brand new episode with where all I have to focus on is battles. Rather than forgetting about it. And... <laughs> well, yeah, rather than just forgetting about it, really. Nope. I mean, you can break your alliance with me if you like. The trouble is all my friends are all of your friends. So... If you want to... I, I really want Sweden to try and split the alliance in two and see how it works for them. Oh, I thought you would... I thought Persia would definitely start panic pulling people back. <gasps> Genoa's gone after me. Call in my allies. Who will back... Who will you back, Savoy? Ah. Oh. That's a good decision, Genoa. I mean, it'd be interesting to see... Well, ultimately, I'm happy to let them duke it out with Savoy. But I want to land and take Corsica. Deny them of their last colonial possession. And probably fight some of their election results. Okay, so let's see how our ministers, our ministers are like. America's minister's pretty poop. He's the only one I really want to get rid of, so blip. Oh, he's really good. Sweet. A new town emerges. I mean, oh, see, now we've shown up. Every, the entire world is booming. Both through military conquest and economically. I, mean, I know it's very inefficient, but we don't. I just, I'm just not that bothered about maximising the utility, maximising the availability of my troops. Just get them to do a long walk. Bengal. Done all the stuff in Bengal. of industry are burning. We are generating more wealth than has ever been seen before in human history. Brand new mines, brand new roads. The last one the Jesuit College? Oh, farms in Armenia. Although they're going to get raided by the Persians, I just do not care. I mean, you should be replenishing, really. Well, you might actually just sally, auto-resolve them. Blep. <laughs> Back you go. You get a unit of cavalry from this force. Good. Gurkhas. Get into Kabul. Yep, you're just going to continue steaming your way along the north, the northern route, because Kabul actually has. Metalled roads. Same with you. Just storm across. Can you leave Kashmir? You can. You're waiting for your artillery still. So let's just bring you a bit closer to the main road. Although, to be frank, you're probably going to... Probably going to lose an infantry unit. 
You can lose an infantry unit and make space for a Gurkha unit. There we go. Slowly making people Christian. You can push up towards the heathen. You keep heading towards uh, Esfahan from the south. So now it's interesting you are our new enemy and that's not even a navy so i'm not actually bothered about making sure i completely annihilate your fleet we can do that you need one more ship get a heavy first rate why the heck not then you're going to come up and just blow that fleet of fifth rates and brigs and so on to pieces you're gonna run but you can't hide we own the med so that's the other fleet you can bring them in if you like actually those loads of fifths might be might be able to actually take out a couple of my ships but in general i think it's just going to be blip. Bye bye, weak Genoa Navy. Okay, although I might now. I'm not sure why you're marked as red, because that's all our ships. Do you men get in for repairs? Ultimately, if they don't have a good navy, they can't get anywhere. I'm curious to see who wins. I mean, if Genoa take Savoy, then we're going to go in. Because we'll take that back, take Genoa, take Milan. Then we'll really consolidate our front line in Italy, which will be quite good. But I'm happy to let them, let them make that decision, rather than me. force can come out by again they are probably going to do the same thing as this force and they're going to get a Gurkha unit <laughs> and then be pushed up um, but rather than hitting end turn I'm probably just going to end the episode here otherwise we'll be here for an awful long time so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Portugal where we're going to be very I mean we've got a lot of Europe to take but I think when we move on them they will collapse fairly quickly so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed See you next time.